The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or to view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. Um, so, uh, first up, uh, we're going to go around, do a couple things. We'll just go in pairs. We'll try these out so you two can come up first. Um, we will start off with one of our basic principles of uh, electromagnetism, which is that we can spin metal in a magnetic field and produce current. So uh, let's hook up, hook up our uh, little motor to an LED and see if we can make our motor into a dynamo. Okay, so it works. It's not easy, but it works. We're using a motor in reverse. We're spinning metal in a magnetic field and producing um, so current to light up our LED. There we go. Nice. Okay, now let's plug in this to our amplifiers and try to redo our telharmonium light. So, it's the turn of the century, it's around 1900, you're Cahill, and you're like, I need a way to produce a sound, I need a way to create an oscillator. Who would have thought this was the best way to do this? <laughs> some little poles to focus the magnetic energy. Now, this design, this is a nice DiMarzio pickup. I was talking earlier, it, it's in pink. I got the pink one because it was cheaper. Think about the issues involved in that. Pink pickup is cheaper than a black one, same performance. Um, anyways, this model has uh, four conductors, which allows us to access each of the coils separately. We're going to run them in series um, and treat them just as one pickup. Um, so, we need our, uh, this is our ground here, and this is our hot signal, the red. And Wait, so does that mean that you're essentially eliminating any benefits of the reverse polarity humbucking action? The humbucking action works in both series and parallel, oh. according to the DiMarzio literature. Ah. It seems like if you ran them in series without reversing them again, you would just knock out Okay, so you got it in. Now the first thing to try is um, putting, turning our motor, well, wait, before we get to the phone. <laughs> now, what this device is going to do is uh, pick up moving metal that perturbs the magnetic field. So if we spin our motor in front of the pickup, mm -hmm. let's see if we can get a sound. surprising, but it is still. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, what if we put a vibrating metal string on top of this? Maybe we might pick up a sound, right? Yeah. 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 Let's try it on the piano. <laughs> okay, so uh, one of you has to to play the keys here and hold down the damper, and the other needs to 
Actually, rest it on the keys. Now we have the prepared electromagnetic feedback. <laughs> we could try to do some sort of Ebo thing. We could try to do some sort of Ebo thing where we direct the acoustic energy out of the pickup on the strings. Out of the power. Out of the amp onto the strings. Ooh. Oh, all right. Now this isn't going to work great, but the idea here is that we're using the amplification to re-resonate the string and creating a feedback loop in the process. Let me start it off. Oh yeah. Sure. Hold down the damper until you hold up up. And it, actually, if you rest it on the keys, you're probably going to back. Chirp is it's periodically reading the accelerometer, and is then when it, it, yeah, and then when it sees a new measurement, it wakes up again, throws the chip into low power. Mode. Oh, really? Because the chips can still sample really, like you know, once every second or something. They can take yeah. a sample off the accelerometer. So who knows? You had a passive. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's amazing though. that you can hear that. That's really cool. There's some and side there's channel like, attacks just waiting to be exploited. There's, like a, tone, there's like a tone in the background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. That's like yeah. the ground noise. Okay, that great. sounds nice though. Now, do you have some? Vibrant, you guys can sit here. Uh, uh, we have some uh, special using the vibrations of the of the phone. Let's try these out. You guys can just like control using this uh, the purple slide on the switch. Or switch on. I bet since the speakers are magnetic, it would actually just act as a microphone if you just played sound on it. Giving us a good tone right there. <laughs> okay, so 
that works well. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Are you squeezing it hard? Uh, I was just pushing it slightly against this. Nice. I got a happy message. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, um, you mentioned about, what about a uh, speaker? So what is, uh, what is, <laughs> what, is uh, what is a conventional acoustic speaker? How does it work? Coil and magnet. Coil and a magnet, yeah. uh, moving back and forth. So these things have uh, speakers in them, right? And if we play some music, like a little Africa Bambata. So this is not acoustic transduction, this is electromagnetic. <laughs> And notice how tight the direction that is. You actually get a pretty nice conduction there, but you hold it just right. It's, yeah. uh, it's almost as good as a wire. <laughs> oh my <God>. <laughs> <laughs> which is yellow for us. And then let's try uh, hooking up the black, or is that blue, to... This might be a stereo. Do you know if it's a stereo? Yeah, it be. A stereo. Okay, so let's see. If, we, if you move the needle, do you hear anything? See if you can. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Boards of Canada? You really, you don't, you don't like that? That's it? terrible. That's a terrible bootleg. Okay. Oh, man. Um. <laughs> you gotta, you want to be in the groove, so try to line it up. Yeah. In the groove. is connected to a little uh, piece of metal that's moving in a magnetic field. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, great. We'll play with that a little bit more. Um, I want you guys to get started on building some oscillators. So, you guys can go back. So, Collins, in the great tradition of hardware hacking, has an approach for us to build <laughs> oscillators using a digital chip that's not intended to be used as an oscillator at all. 
Uh, you guys will work in pairs. You can work with your neighbor. Oh, whoa. Look at that. <laughs> um, nice. Um, That's already... You want to do your okay. Let's try not to lose anything in the first two. Okay. okay. So, this. so uh, Collins has us use the hex Schmidt trigger, which is a very simple device which allows us to basically flip and flop between a zero and one output. Namely, uh, which will be a voltage allowing us to alter between two voltages. Now what we're going to do with this chip is we're simply going to use pins one and two. We're going to use one of these little triggers and we're going to feed it back into itself and cause it to oscillate. So now you all have your chips in, except for those of you that don't have chips. So let me get you some chips. Do it anyway. I can't guarantee it won't break up. But I can. <laughs> and I need some good on ground and good on power. Okay, cool. Looks right, like we great. Are, this has got to set up somewhat. We are ready, and then we need to do what? We need to feed it back. We, one we and apparently two. want to feed back one and two. So we want sound out. So power. Uh, which component do you think is? Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> the first thing we need to do is provide power to our chip. Uh, that's already done on the boards that I gave you. You want to take vector these here what and this? orient the ground on the bottom. Like this. Okay. Orient the ground on the bottom. <laughs> this is true. And there we go. That's the, oh, look at this. There we go. Okay, so you want it to look like this. Orient the ground on the bottom and connect the resistor between the power yeah, to the power bus and the ground to the ground bus. Yeah, you are. Oh, so wait. And you guys need resistor to one and two. Cap uh, from what, one to ground? Is that I, I think. Okay. And then he's got sound. So this is in ground. And this one is in two? Is that yeah, oh, exactly. And that's the. Nice. There we go, we made sound. All right, yeah, check for heat. <laughs> Another. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait for the photo resistor. Okay. okay, ground, good, good. And then uh, you got the resistor feeding back into the second pin. Okay, good. You guys need some components here. Okay. Uh, we should have our basic oscillator set up. Excellent. Good, good, good. And let's hear what we get. So, uh, here's right, one. Let's do this one first, I guess. Let's plug it in and see if we get so. it. Oh, sad. There we go. The beauty of synthesis. Uh, that sounds good, but everybody's in there. Is everyone using the same value components? Oh, nice. Oh, oh, with the capacitance. Uh, oh, okay. Very low resistance. Good. Okay. No, it's capacitance. Because between your two fingers would be a parallel capacitor. No, I'm I'm bypassing the resistor, and I have very low resistance. Oh, nice. Okay. So, good. So it's going to lick your finger or something. <laughs> this sounds awesome with everybody's going at once. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Oh, uh, uh, you have to be trying 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 to yeah. Yeah. Try with the, uh, the victory. Oh yeah, I don't know how, but I don't know if we can get reliable. Yeah, I mean the bands are really. I don't know what those bands mean, or whether they would even like. Oh, you're gonna try to like it. No, the Hey, that is doing good. It's not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you come out. Mission 
I like that. Yeah, I love that drum. Uh, it's really good. All right, so what are we doing? Okay. Just swap it out, hot swap it for the for the speaker. We're gonna try this motor. Okay. Okay. You got it sound. This guy is plugged in here, which means we need. We got. Get clips. Let's maybe slow it down and try the resistor again, but instead of so high, you know, use. What if we tried the other one? Yeah, use a bigger capacitor. Two capacitors in parallel. Wait, can you guys pause for a sec? Yes. Okay. Pause for a sec. We're gonna make sure these guys who are doing ultimate hacks would. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> what is going on? Is this two oscillators? You want to jump in on this audio, please? I don't know. No, it's probably going to be one of the times. Ah, no! I have no idea. Oh, there you go, there you go. Yeah, do, okay. How big is that cap? Okay, so let's pause. Oh. Let's pause for a second, okay? Now, the reason Greg has the lower tone, let's see your nice tone is because of different capacitors being used. So the capacitor going from pin one to the ground, by varying that hat capacitor, we can set a different frequency range for the oscillation. The principle we're using here for oscillation is feedback, right? We're taking the output of pin two, feeding it back into pin one, which through the resistor, that is causing the one to flip to zero, the zero to flip to one, and continually producing what kind of sounds? Is it, essentially? Soft. Something like a sawtooth square-ish is going from one to zero, but it's going to fall. So it's not going to be a straight square wave, but it's going to be something square-like. Everybody happy with the first uh, synthesizer they built? Well, unless you yeah, built it yeah, at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a nice helicopter you got. <laughs> OK, now, we can have immediate fun by replacing our resistor with the photoresistor. The photoresistor <laughs> allows <laughs> us to vary <laughs> resistance. If we vary the resistance in the feedback from pin 1 to pin 2, what will we be able to do? Change the pitch. Change the frequency of oscillation. So, uh, some of you have already done it. I'm going to borrow the amp from you guys. OK, so here we go. I need to show a bar. Maybe it would make sound actually more audible. I need to show a bar. Try to do it. Because it was a little too high before. It was a little painful. I also put in this smaller. We're changing too many things at the time. We're changing too many things at the time. We're changing too many things at the time. Let's see. Oh, it's OK. You should be able to still get it. These things are not direct. Uh, the big black one is the big black one is with this one. Uh, yeah, with a long one goes to ground. Right. right. Yeah, try the smaller capacitor. Did it work fine with that? Just to get yeah. this, is this a yeah. one or? This should give you something. All right. Try changing the pins at the butter resistor. Oh, this motor is not going to, it's that motor is, yeah, it's going to be a little one. Oh, wow, Chris did bring a whole set of energy. Okay, uh, 
Yeah. Are you guys yeah. 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 sensitive all over, oh, wow. yeah. So it's, it's probably got a tiny little sawtooth. It's yeah, just yeah, not yeah. enough to... It sounds better with the diode. Either yeah. direction is not enough to push that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's yeah. a nice yeah. one. That is nice. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're all getting close. <laughs> Actually, if we right. switch our output to the... You guys are going to get some diode. crazy... Oh, <laughs> oh, actually, we've already got two. Well, we have an ensemble going here. Okay. Uh, you get the diode? Oh, that's great. Turn that overdrive all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Takes two people to play this. <laughs> Actually, a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
two parameters, which should help us. Should we keep the diode in there? Yeah, I like to keep the diode in there. Um, so take the output of the diode, and then, and now take a photoresistor from this bus to the next one, and then capacitor to ground. So we need another So try the. Filter. You need to be. Oh wait. That should do it. Turn it up a little bit. Oh, uh, the first one. Oh, you're up all the way. We're having that low pass filter is. Maybe if we. When I touch it. Yeah, you're up. bridging it. Turning it off. Yeah. Make some music. We're gonna do duets. All right. Okay. So, and you guys will be a trio, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't we start with you guys? Because you, you guys, and you guys. We'll go from the sides, and then we'll. Oh, we can do you four at the same time. Okay. That's great. What are, what are we trying to play? Okay, you're gonna do an improvisation. <laughs> it's gonna be a minute or two minutes, and we're gonna use a very simple improvisation technique that works in almost any context. Um, we're still, we're still, come on. <laughs> okay, so, uh, no, what we're gonna do is, is uh, set up a basic ostinati. So you're gonna repeat some musical motive. Find some little thing that you can repeat. It can be a little, some little gesture that's identifiable and repeat it. And keep on repeating it. It's like a drum circle, basically. But we're using our photoresistor theremins to do a drum circle. So, um, st you'll start off, you'll, uh, <laughs> you'll create a sort of pattern, and then hold it. The next person will come in, try to do something that fits in with that pattern. After it's going, then you can swap the amps. change the pattern oh. a little bit, and then it'll be done.
<laughs> Good, all right, yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, here we go.